Need some coins or MT for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap currency, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code Zerk for 5% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerk's Matcha today with another Madden Ultimate Team video and you guys should be seeing this video early on Tuesday morning unless there's some sort of content drop and I'm recording this video late Monday night to go over the next three confirmed golden tickets. I made a video yesterday morning as the time you guys are watching this video going over the next three confirmed GTs or the previous three confirmed GTs where we knew of eight of them. Well now we know of 11. I don't want to give a shout out to Max Smith for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a line to the vid, make sure you guys are sub to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below Noti Gang. And guys, today we have the NBA. We actually didn't have NBA games yesterday to go ahead and play with on Underdog Fantasy, which can use code Zerk to match first deposit up to $100. But today, we do have NBA, so follow me over on Twitter. As I said, use code Zerk. I have been on a big time W streak with the NBA game. So we'll see if we can keep it going today. We'll probably run some private drafts well over there this afternoon. So check it out. Follow me over on Twitter. All right. So getting into these golden tickets now, guys, as I said, we previously knew about eight of them. I know of three additional ones. I'm going to go over the guys. And I do also want to mention here that I may even be able to confirm with you guys a couple more over the course of the next couple of days. I know that Dom actually has one that he is yet to decide who exactly he's going to make there. I believe he's doing some sort of like poll, whatever, to decide on the golden ticket player. And I'm currently already talking to another person about a player that they may make as well. So we may end up knowing maybe like 15 gts in advance maybe there's 34 total currently though with these additional three hundred dots to talk about we know of 11 and i do want to mention tony romo i did talk about romo yesterday romo and elijah moore both of those people actually reached out to me and said you know they thought about potentially changing elijah moore uh, is 100 percent coming and then romo yesterday i asked again and romo is pretty set on it so it looks like we are going to be getting tony romo and elijah moore I don't believe they're going to change, but keep in mind, all these golden tickets, the form has still not been set out to these people, so they could definitely change. So if I give you guys an updated video, if any of the previous GTs change, I'll give you guys an update, but as of right now, all of the ones that I've talked about, to my knowledge, are still set to come out. So as I said at the beginning of this video, guys, I actually recorded this video last night. Now, it's currently Tuesday morning, and I'm just going to throw this in, I think, probably right before I hop into showcasing to you guys the first golden ticket but i actually know of a fourth confirmed gt you probably hear me talk about how i know of you know three confirmed golden tickets or that was three confirmed golden tickets whatever i think i said that at the end of this video somewhere but yes four confirmed golden tickets in this video now and i'm just gonna get right into the player because i do not actually know the boost or anything like that but this is actually if you guys you know follow me over on twitter if you're in the social media aspect of the madden community then this one is actually really, really cool, and I'm going to explain exactly why. Now, this is actually being made by KillerKG1 over on Twitter, and it looks like the card is not up. Let's see. Let me just go ahead and sort by it. Uh, but it is going to be another running back. So I know people are maybe not the most excited that we are going to be getting uh, another running back, right? Because we already have a lot of... Uh, running backs currently going on with the golden ticket promo confirmed and it looks like his card is not up so i'm just gonna have to show you guys over on mutt.gg now the golden ticket that was confirmed late last night and that i am now aware of as of this morning is darrington evans now if you guys do not know who darrington evans is well, you should, because he now is a new Chicago Bear, uh, and I think he's going to be an absolute animal this year, so keep your eyes peeled out over there for sure. Uh, will the card be good? I think it will be, honestly. I know he's, uh, you know, 203 pounds, and he's an elusive back, of course. You get to change the yard types, whatever. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard for Killer KG to do the boost, because... This is a 68 overall silver card. So the issue with that is when you're boosting a lower overall card like this, it can kind of be hard to do the boost, but I think it's still going to be pretty good. I think you could probably make this a very, very good elusive and receiving running back. 
so darrington evans right there and again if you're curious as to why darrington evans evans is actually really really big in the manic community over on twitter especially the dude is super super chill uh he actually live streams and has a youtube as well uh it's it's live with the z instead of s for it and i think it's three e's on live i want to say if you type in it's live you'll be able to find him uh but a super super cool dude i've talked to him multiple times he is really cool in the madden community we've dm about stuff even outside of madden stuff just like real stuff so super super cool dude i think this is awesome i know a lot of people pretty much all year uh we're saying that we should do as a community a darrington evans golden ticket so to be honest I like it. All right, so let's get into the first confirmed golden ticket in this video. Make this, I guess we'll call it golden ticket number nine right now. And this one, as I said, Dom has actually got a golden ticket, right? And he's doing some stuff over on his channel where he's going to be going over like golden ticket options, I believe, with guys running polls, whatever there. But a sub actually reached out to him and he helped him make Derek Henry quarterback so yes guys we are in fact getting a qb derrick henry i know a lot of people are gonna be very very excited about this some people maybe not so much but i love it i think obviously golden ticket uh derrick henry quarterback we all knew would be like the best potential quarterback the golden ticket option because the card's insane right he's got the fast release in the game and when it comes to his upgrades right there's not really much to upgrade so if you guys didn't know this you actually get five different stats that you can choose to boost in these gts but as i told you guys previously you cannot choose physical stuff you can't choose speed uh throw power is another thing you cannot touch on derrick henry you can't touch throw power to count that as physical uh you can't touch agility you can't change change of direction strength jumping any of that so when it came to derrick henry right uh, what do you actually boost here? Well, he's a 96 overall going to a 99, so plus three. Well, to be honest, there's truly like four stats that you could touch that aren't already going to be 99 overall that even matter that you can change and you basically have one that's just like pointless. So Dom went with medium accuracy, deep accuracy, and then he went with juke move, which is already 95, but that's one of the ones where it's like, do you really need to touch it? Probably not but uh why not i suppose just to get it up to 99 overall spin move and carrying now carrying is already a 96 but when you look at literally like every other stat right that you could potentially want to boost on this derrick henry he's going up to a 99 overall plus three overall right so break tackle break sack throw under pressure uh carrying those should already be 99 but on the off chance that EMS around him would have gave him like 97 carrying or 98, whatever, Dom just did that one to ensure that it gets 99. Because there's literally, and I mean this, literally no other stat that he could have potentially chose on this card that would have made any sense. So uh, picking carrying is a good option just to ensure that he gets 99. So medium, deep, spin, juke, and carrying. So I mean, with the boost here, like Derrick Henry's going from a 96 to 99 and then those are the stats that he chose to really really juice up so hopefully mid 90s for medium and deep really don't know how much EA are going to you know really really juice up this card uh but it's gonna be the best quarterback in the game it definitely is going to be the best quarterback in the game it's gonna be like 99 truck 99 break tackle 99 carrying uh 99 juke moves spins gonna be super high it's going to be absolutely insane. And in terms of the archetypes on Derrick Henry, he chose two field generals. So you can go ahead and get like Hiram Master, uh, Conductor for cheaper on him, Scrambler. So that way you can get Escape Artist for cheaper, Strong Arm so you can get Gunslinger for cheaper, and then an Improviser as well. So you can literally get any and all abilities you could potentially want on Derrick Henry if you wanted to be, you know, strictly a pocket passing quarterback which you probably don't uh you can get conductor hard master and gunslinger and just run that or you can run like gunslinger and escape artist and have those the cheapest ap possible you could run gunslinger escape artist and really whatever you want to do on derrick henry so i think this card is going to be probably the best golden ticket i mean it's absolutely insane so yeah quarterback derrick henry i know a lot of people are gonna be happy about this one all right so quarterback derrick henry was the first one and the second one i'm gonna go over guys is a running back i know we have you know a lot of running backs already coming out with golden tickets that i've talked about but i really feel like this is another good one this one's being made by beast lmb and he is a steelers fan so he wanted to make a running back and i feel like the best possible Steelers running back there is Le'Veon Bell gets like more team cams whatever but Najee Harris is an absolute 
monster of a card and he is also 230 pounds so we're getting a lot of really really good running back options honestly guys with golden tickets and Najee Harris just kind of compiles into the list here right 92 overall he's got 93 speed 92 excel 89 carrying 84 catching 90 change of direction 94 truck 90 break tackle he's also got 88 juke move 90 spin move the route running on him has a 70 short route running so with a lot of the golden ticket running backs, the people who came to win and say, hey, I want to make this running back, you know, one thing you usually touch would be catching. Well, Najee already has 84, and he's going up to a 99. So he's already going to have like 90 catching. So that's one thing that we actually didn't have to use here on Najee Harris that kind of gave us another thing to mess around with. So again, as I said before, you can't choose change of direction. You can't choose agility. You can't choose strength anything like that because otherwise change of direction being a 90 i mean it's not gonna be 99 so maybe you want to get that up there but you obviously cannot choose that so one thing we decided to boost was carrying it's an 89 just to ensure that it's going to get up to a 99 there the break tackle of a 90 that is another thing we chose because again we want to make sure that, that gets to 99 trucking should be 99 on the card and his speed is going to be really really good then you come down to his juke move and his spin move being an 88 and the spin being a 90. And we chose spin on him because I feel like spin is just way, way better this year, right? Spin is definitely better than juke move. Uh, if you don't believe that, go get a running back that can spin. Go get Cordero Patterson right now. Hit a couple spins. It's way, way better than juking this year. And then short route running, of course, right? He's only going to be up to like a 77, 76 here. So I want to boost that up. Again, uh, when you do these boosts, you're really just hoping the EA really juices the card. So the hope is to get to 90 short route running if possible to make him really, really good at the backfield. But we'll just see on that. And then because we didn't actually have to go ahead and boost up the catching on him with RB84, we kind of have another thing to play around with here. So we threw it on catching traffic. So he's going to be able to take more hits catching the ball be able to get some of those more contested catches not necessarily contested right now like spec catch type stuff but catching track be able to catch it and take a hit as a running back it's only a 68 or should be probably a 68 when it gets to 99 overall naturally there so kind of hoping here to see like 80 catching traffic and really we just don't know how much ea are going to juice up these stats that you choose to really, really boost up and then also you do you can choose all five ability slots all the archetypes so as we've done with every single running back that i've told you guys about uh we went with one receiving back so that we can get like backfield master for one ap one with two elusive and two power so you can pretty much get whatever abilities that you want to go with you want to run like tank and bulldozer you want to run jukebox or evasive you want to run uh backfield master like i said you can pretty much get whatever you want so this is going to be just another really 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 good uh power back uh, elusive back receiving back pretty much do it all golden ticket running back which this is what we already have saquon vita vea cordero patterson naji harris did I forget one? I might be forgetting one. We have like four or five. I cannot recall. There's, I've gone through so many golden tickets past couple days, but a lot of golden ticket running backs, but adds another good one. All right, and as for the final golden ticket I'm gonna go over today, guys, this is another one that I think you guys are gonna be really, really excited about. This is one that I talked about being potentially the best golden ticket option or one of the best golden ticket options that could possibly be made i've seen it in the comment section a lot as i've gone over these last golden tickets obviously i tell you guys this i don't really tell people what gts to make right if they come to me and they have options i'll tell them okay i think these will be the best but if you come to me and say you want to do i i don't know michael gallup right i'll say okay cool and i'll try to give you the best boost that i think work best with the card right i'm never going to tell someone you can't do this card right it is your golden ticket make whatever player you want to do but this is one that i know people are gonna be very very excited about and this is being made by elijah simpson and yes guys he is in fact making ed two tall jones wide receiver so excited for this card he's six foot nine with a 95 overall he's got 93 speed 94 catch traffic 93 catching 95 spec catch 94 catch traffic 88 short 94 medium and 95 deep route running and then when you look at like after the catch right he's got 95 trucking he's got 88 carrying 84 juke 82 spin 91 break tackle uh the run blocking is not very good it's only a 50 we'll get to that but the impact block is a 91 and he's 271 pounds so again you can't choose change of direction you can't choose agility you can't choose strength jumping anything like that you can't choose physical stuff on these cards so what we decided to do when i had talked to guys about my video right uh, that i had made uh, going over the best possible golden ticket options 
one thing that I did mention there is how bad the short route running is on Ed Tuttle Jones, right? Now, the short route running on him is at 88. Well, you could potentially go and boost that, right? And it would probably be really, really good. But with Too Tall Jones, he's already going to be obviously over 90 short route running. I don't really think that is something that is essential on a six foot nine wide receiver when obviously this is going to be a huge deep threat uh, contested catch type wide receiver. So we decided to not boost the short route running because it's not needed. It's going to be over 90 anyways there. Kind of would just been like, oh, we have an extra one. Let's throw it on that to make sure it gets good because the deep route running is going to be able to get to 99. The medium route running is going to be really, really up there as well. So here's what we boosted. We pretty much made Ed Too Tall Jones. He's already going to be an absolute monster of a deep threat, right? Hopefully they get him up to like 97 speed. That's really, really hope they make him 97 speed. Otherwise, you're going to need like Cowboys Cam, right? To get him the 98 speed with wide receiver, deep route, special, whatever. But 99 speed, 99 deep route running. That is the dream that you could get with this card at six foot nine. But then we pretty much just made him an after the catch monster and made him even better at run blocking because he's got 88 strength at 271 pounds with 91 impact block, but that run block's only a 50. So that is one thing we decided to boost in this card was the run blocking because he's going to be not only a monster deep threat, but an insane run blocking wide receiver as well. Then the juke and spin move really, really wanted to make him good after the catch. He only has 82 spin, 84 juke move. So with boosting both of those should easily get them over 90, right? He's getting plus four overall. So those should be over 90. Then break tackle. That should be 99. EA, if that's not 99, that is ridiculous ridiculous if that's not 99 the carrying as well because going plus four overall he's gonna be like 92 carry which is already really good we wanted to get that up and hopefully that will be 99 as well so this is going to be a six foot nine wide receiver that is 271 pounds he's gonna be hopefully able to get to 99 speed 99 deep route running medium route running is gonna be really good short route running is gonna be over 90 as well catching traffic is gonna be pretty good and then after the catch he's gonna be insane so I think this is a wild, wild, wild card. And I mean, a six foot nine Ed Tutal Jones that can do crazy things after the catch and is going to be an absolute monster of a deep threat wide receiver. I think it's going to be insane. And in terms of the archetypes, guys, we went with two deep threats. So you can get deep out elite, deep in elite. One uh, slot apprentice. So you can run, you know, slot apprentice if you want to. Just people that want to get that on him. Then, of course, we're with one route runner. So you can get route technician for two AP. And then also one physical. So that way, if you guys do want to use him as a huge run blocking wide receiver, you can get honorary lineman because his impact block is way over what you need. But with that, guys, those are the next three confirmed golden tickets. Now we have 11 confirmed gts and i gotta say i love 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 this batch of three i'm going over ed to jones is going to be the best wide receiver in the game uh in terms of after the catch ability deep threat run block i mean he's literally going to be able to do it all right there Najee harris just another great running back to add to the collection pretty much these golden tickets i feel like we just have a ton of great running back options you don't have to go with patterson or vita Vey or whatever you can go get yourself a Najee, and he's going to play really really good and then derrick henry probably the best quarterback option that there ever was for golden tickets hope you guys enjoyed the video though and if you did make sure you guys drop a like on it and of course hit that sub button down below let me know what you guys think see you guys next time